up guys welcome back to my channel so if you couldn't tell by my attire today's video is going to be all about Disney Disneyland to be precise so since a few months I am the proud owner of a Disney pass and I have been going to Disney a couple of times now and I can tell you that if you're going to Disney you need to be prepared going to Disney is no joke your feet will hurt you will stand in line but luckily I am here to help you guys out and share my tips and tricks on how to survive Disneyland. I'll show you guys the makeup I wear to go to Disney, a comfy outfit ID, my tips and tricks, what to pack, and also what I picked up at Disney and what I think you guys should pick up if you want to pick up anything um, when you go to Disneyland. So if you guys love Disney as much as I do, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started. Of course this video wouldn't be fit to post on my channel if I didn't include some makeup so when it comes to your base go for something that you know will last the entire day then I also added some bronzer because I like to look nice and bronzed and then of course I had to show off my cute little headbands I also like to add some blush and of course I had to bust out my cute little mini blush which I got in Thailand it is so adorable and the shade is beautiful Then I don't know why but I think gold highlighters look really good with red lips which is what I'm going to apply later on so I decided to just pack on the gold highlighter until I look like a glazed donut. When I think of a makeup look perfect for Disneyland I think of a simple look that has black eyeliner and red lips so I'm using my Kat Von D black eyeliner and I'm just applying a line. Of course you can't forget about the mascara, I curled my eyelashes beforehand because I always do so, I like my eyelashes to look nice and voluminous and long. Since red lipstick tends to bleed throughout the day, I'm applying a lip liner first to prevent the lipstick from bleeding and it will also help um, it stay on for a longer period of time. Then as I mentioned, I'm applying my red liquid lipstick. This one is by Jordana, super affordable and it is a beautiful like cherry red if you know what I mean. This one has a beautiful matte finish that I know will last a very long time on my lips. And then of course we have to apply some setting spray to make sure the makeup will last all day long. Alright, now when it comes to the outfit I wear to go to the parks, I like something that is very casual and very comfortable. So my sweater is from Primark, I'm wearing black leggings which I always wear to go to the parks. And then I'm also wearing my Converse, of course I paired it with my mini headbands and then also a backpack that I got from Primark and some jewelry. My jewelry is either from Alex and Annie or Pandora and they're all Disney themed but I'm going to talk about it later on in the video. When it comes to packing for Disney, you need to be prepared. Like there is nothing worse than missing something when you're in the parks. So the first thing I would highly recommend to bring is a refillable water bottle. They'll charge you a crazy amount of money for water, so bring your own. Then you also need some band-aids because you never know. You never know, you might get some blisters on your feet, so pack some band-aids. Snacks are also really expensive at the parks, so bring your own because you might get hungry throughout the day. And then, I hate to break it to you, but you'll be standing in line a lot so bring your portable charger in case your battery dies. I don't know about you but I get headaches quite often and quite easily so I always bring some painkillers just in case and then when it comes to my wallet I just bring a very small one that doesn't weigh a lot and that can fit my cards. This one is from Primark and it is really cute and then lastly I can't tell you how many times I've been freezing to death at the end of the day so bring a jacket bring a sweater because it can get really cold um, later on at night. Alright, so one of the tips that helped me out a lot is annual passes. Before you go, if you're going for more than one day, go on their website and check the fees for annual passes because you can get one for as low as 150 euros. And entrance fees for only one day can cost you up to 100 euros. And then you also have to pay the 25 euro parking, which is crazy expensive. And if you have an annual pass, it is included in the price. I used to have the Flex Pass, but now I am the proud owner of the Infinity Pass, which is the biggest one they have and also if you have a year pass you are restricted to certain days in a year so before you head off to the park with your year pass always check the dates and see if you can actually go on that certain date and yeah if you have a year pass it is super easy you can just put it in your little pouch swipe it or like scan it and you're good to go 
If you didn't know already, Disneyland actually has an app and it comes with a little map where you can actually see all of the rides and attractions and see how long the waiting time is. So when you enter the park, definitely go on the app and check where you have to wait the least amount of time and go there first. The app also shows you at what times the parades and the show starts. Now if you're like me and you don't have a lot of patience standing in line, the single riders lane is definitely something you have to check out. Sometimes the normal waiting line can be like one hour long and the single riders only five minutes. So definitely do that. I do it all the time and it is awesome. You'll probably end up sitting with strangers but I personally don't mind it because it is fast and that's the most important to me. You've probably heard of fast passes before, but if you haven't, they're basically passes that you can get for rides with really long lines and then you come back at a later time using your pass and you don't have to wait as long. This next tip is again for people that don't have a lot of patience, but timing is key when you're at Disneyland. If you've already seen the parade and you don't mind missing out, then that is definitely the perfect time to go on the rides that you've always wanted to go on because a lot of people will be watching the parade, a lot of kids, and that means the waiting lines are less long. Although I would highly recommend staying for the illumination show at the end of the day. Again, if you've seen it, it is the perfect timing to go on the rides because a lot of kids will be asleep already. And yeah, all the people are watching the parade and the shows so you can go on whatever rides you want. Main Street can get quite busy throughout the day, so if you want to do some shopping, wait until the end of the day because the shops are usually open a few hours after closing time of the park, so that is the perfect time to do your shopping and look around without it being too crowded. I haven't heard of this tip until I actually went to the parks and did some research, but pin trading is actually a thing. So you can buy pins at the parks and there are a lot of exclusive pins to, for example, Paris or Orlando. And you can buy a lanyard that has a little pouch, which is perfect to put your pass in or whatever. And then you can attach all the pins onto your lanyard. And then you can walk up to any cast member that is wearing a lanyard with pins and ask them to trade whatever pin you want and they will do that. So I have done quite some shopping at Disneyland, especially since I have a discount with my annual pass. So I'm going to share a few things that I think you should pick up. I got that mini Paris statue at the park, as well as these cute mugs, which they are just adorable and I love collecting mugs. I got this lollipop mainly to take pictures with, which is amazing. And then I'm also addicted to Pandora. So Pandora actually has a lot of um, Disney charms and a few of them are actually park exclusive ones. The actual bracelet is also from the Disney collection and then this bubblegum pink um, charm is actually an exclusive to the parks. The castle I got at Orlando which is also exclusive. Then of course I also have the Olaf charm and I don't know I just really love my bracelet. Then I also got these two Alex and Annie bracelets which I actually got from Orlando so you can get them in Paris. This little mini wallet was super inexpensive. I got it from Primark. Then of course you need your headbands. And then I also got this little like it, it's supposed to be an ornament but I use it for decor and it is so freaking cute this sweater is also from primark again super inexpensive and then i also love to collect tsum tsums if you didn't already tsum tsums are way too cute and i collect them and you can also get a few exclusive ones at the park this is from primark and then my backpack as well and lastly you can always buy overpriced chocolate at the parks Alright, so those were all of my tips and tricks when it comes to Disneyland. I hope when you guys go that you will be a little bit more prepared now and that my tips and tricks will definitely help you guys out. If you want to see more Disney related videos, maybe a Disney vlog or something like that, then definitely let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. That way I know to film more Disney related content. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck if you go to Disneyland and also have a lot of fun. Have a magical day. I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Say that it feels right.